OK, so in this video, we are going to look at a histogram problem. And what I've got here is a histogram already drawn. I've been told a little bit of information that the 20 to 30 block that I've got there represents 96 people. So let's pop that on first. OK, now, before we start answering any of the questions that are there, and hopefully these questions should iron out any of the problems that we have with histograms, um, the first thing that we need to remember is that the area of the bar, okay, uh, from GCSE was equal to the frequency, okay? However, we're in situations now where that is not necessarily the case because I can work out the area of that block because that's 10 by 1.2. So 12, and clearly that's not the frequency. I know that the frequency is 96. However, 96, okay, if you do 96 divided by 12, then you get 8. So it is this 8 that is the important number, this factor, this multiplier, okay, because it actually turns out that the frequency is proportional to the area, OK? So it is that uh, that we need to work with here. So it's the, air, um, it's the frequency, sorry, that is proportional to the area. So we're going to use that fact for part A. Estimate how many people are represented by 10 to 25. So I'm looking at this region, OK, all that region there. So really what I want to do is I want to work out the area of that region and then multiply it by 8, and that will give me the frequency. So I've got this little block here, which will be 5 times 0.6, and I've got this block here, which is 5 times 1.8, and I've got this block here, which is 5 times 1.2. Okay. So I work out what that is, so 0 0.6 plus 1.8 plus 1.2, and then times that by 5, that gets me 18. So that's the area of the blocks. So the frequency is 18 times by 8, which is 144. OK, so it's 144 people that are represented between 10 and 25. Okay, so let's give myself a little bit of space, just to raise that bit. Okay, for B, find the frequency for each of the bars. Well, I've got the 96 already, so all I need to do here is to find the area of each bar and then multiply it by 8. So this one is 10 times 0 0.6 and then times that by 8, so 48. This one I've got 5 times 1.8, and then times that by 8, so 72. This one I've got 5 times 1.5, and then times that by 8, and that gets me to 60. And this little one I've got 5 times 0 0.3, and then times that by 8, and that gets me 12. So that is the, error, the uh, frequency for each of the bars, OK, as required. Now for C, estimate the median value of x. So the median value, I need to work out what the total frequency is. So the total frequency is adding up all of those, so 48 plus 72, plus 96, plus 60, plus 12. And that gets me to 288. So because this is uh, continuous data, I'm going to halve that, so 144. So the median will be the 144th value. OK. So I need to work out where the 144th value is going to be. Because 48 plus 72 is 120. 120 plus 96 
will get me to 216. And so that will get me to the 216th value there at 30. So the 144th value is somewhere in this grouping. So if I draw a number line, it is somewhere between 20 and 30. Somewhere in that grouping is the 144th value. So by the time I get to 20, I've gone through 48 plus 72, so 120 values, 120 data points. And by the time I get to the 30, just so I'm making sure I'm getting my calculation right, I've gone through 216 data points. So the ratio of that difference to that difference must be the same as the ratio of that distance to that distance. Okay, so this gives me an equation to solve. So 144 take away 120, so 24 divided by the 216 take away 120. So that's got quarter, times that by 10, and then add the 20. And that gets me 22.5. So 22.5 would be the estimate for the median value. OK? All right. So last but not least, find the probability of picking 1x between 25 and 40. OK. So 25 and 40, that's asking me to figure out that area, uh, well, effectively to find out that frequency and then divide it by the 288. And that should give me my probability. So I'm going to have half of the 96 group, so 48 plus all of the 60, plus the 12, and divide that by 288. So 120 over 288, so 5 twelfths. Okay, and that is the probability that I'm asked to find in there.